From October 8 to 10, 2011, the U.S. Embassy in Ulaanbaatar, in collaboration with the Mongolian Association of State Alumni MASA, organized the second East Asia Pacific Alumni Association Conference in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. The very first of this kind of conference took place in Manila, Philippines in 2007, in which a couple of Mongolian alumni took place, and they came back with full of inspiration and enthusiasm to further develop the Mongolian Alumni Association. Mongolian Association of State Alumni, also known as the Ambassadors for Development, was established in September 2007 as a community of all current and past Mongolian participants of the U.S. government exchange programs. Since 1989, more than 1,000 Mongolians have participated in U.S. government exchange programs and now have formed a vibrant community. MASA's governing structure includes a president, board chair, a vice president, and a board of directors consisting of 15 members representing various programs such as Fulbright, Humphrey, International Visitors Leadership Program, Global Undergraduate Program, and several more. These officers are elected on a two-year basis. Since its formation in 2007, MASA has organized a number of successful programs and has been active in promoting disability rights and awareness in Mongolia. It is a growing and dynamic association which, with support from the embassy at strategic intervals and contact with fellow alumni associations, has the capacity to grow into an even greater professional and independent organization. The mission statement adopted by MASA is to contribute to the bilateral relationship between Mongolia and the United States of America and to promote the efforts of Mongolian U.S. government alumni for the community and societal development. The mission is guided by the members' commitment to further enhance Mongolian and American mutual understanding and to promote the spirit of volunteerism and community support not only among themselves but also in the general Mongolian community. Just like any non-government organization, MASA has its challenges as well as its triumph. And they thought at this stage it's important to share their best practices and experiences with similar alumni groups and organizations from the same region. Therefore, MASA, in collaboration with the Office of Alumni Affairs and the Public Affairs Section in Ulaanbaatar, organized the second East Asia Pacific Alumni Association Conference in Ulaanbaatar, Mongolia. The conference hosted over 55 participants from 12 different countries, including Mongolia, and enjoyed the participation of representatives from the State Alumni Office, Ms. Lisa Helbron, Director of Office of Alumni Affairs, and Nazgul Tukasanova, Regional Alumni Coordinator for East Asia Pacific Region. Ms. Allison Algio, the Public Affairs Officer, led the opening remarks for the conference. Um, I've only been here a couple of months so far. I arrived in July and I'm very happy that this conference is occurring at the beginning of my time here in Mongolia. It's a very exciting way to begin things. And it's so wonderful to see so many accomplished alumni here. Thank you all for making the trip. I know for some of you it was probably a long journey. So thank you very much for coming to join us here. Um, before uh, President of MASA, Jarakal Sahan, and our ambassador, Jonathan Adelton, speak. I just wanted to say a few things uh, about our own alumni association here, the Mongolian Association of State Alumni, or MASA. MASA has been an equal partner in planning and organizing this conference, and we're really very proud of the work they're doing in their own right as well. Um, as you will hear shortly from Ms. Alton Setsik, MASA has been actively working with the embassy to engage the Mongolian state alumni community in various community building, human rights, and human rights activities and events. Um, for example, a highlight of one of their projects, just one example, uh, is in 2009, um, they did an English for the Disabled program, during which MASA organized two English teaching and leadership camps for 34 physically challenged Mongolians. And that's just one example of the kind of work they're doing in trying to create um, an equal society for everyone. Um, most recently also, we wanted to make note that their Sephora project was selected for funding from the Alumni Engagement Innovation Fund. This is a project that aims at promoting employment and business opportunities for Mongolians with disabilities. There were more than 700 project ideas submitted from alumni throughout the world, so we're particularly proud of the fact that this project was chosen for funding. The project aims to raise public awareness of human rights, 
to motivate private and public organizations to employ people with disabilities, and to support businesses and services of the disabled, as well as to identify skills and services that are in demand. Our embassy, just as the embassies you all work with, will continue to work to strengthen the Alumni Association and to support encourage, and encourage alumni projects and collaboration. As part of the opening, Mr. Jonathan Adelton, U.S. Ambassador to Mongolia, and Mr. Jargal Se Khan, the President of MASA, gave welcome remarks. It's a really great pleasure uh, to welcome everybody of this network, which I believe very important network of the region because we are carrying this valuable, the most valuable thing that humankind was always dreaming about. We had, a, I think, a dream. We had a, we, had, we had a dream and we made it. And we have education that you can represent throughout your life, every way, every time. Yesterday I was here in BBC. They were saying that educating women means educating the nation. That's, that was, I think, a very strong message for all of us because uh, not only women, everybody educated, in particular with the higher standard of education, are the career of development, career of changes we want to see in our own nations. So we are here today to talk about what we can do better based on our expertise, knowledge, and which we, will, we are going to change during a couple of days here. The goal of this conference was to facilitate dialogue and the exchange of ideas among alumni associations on three main themes. Alumni association development and best practices was the theme of the first day of the conference. On this day, we heard from four different countries about their best practices. Ms. Alton Tetzek, a board and one of the founding members of MASA, gave presentation on MASA history, activities, challenges and successes and its experience of promoting social responsibility. We also enjoyed an excellent presentation by Ms. Deridek, who was representing the Fulbright Undergraduate State Alumni Association of Cambodia on membership promotion and maintaining membership interest. This was followed by a presentation by Ms. Akiko Emai, who was representing the Tokyo Fulbright Association on financial resources and fundraising strategies. We also enjoyed a presentation by Ms. Omar Kain, who was representing Myanmar-U.S. Friendship Exchange on maximizing organizational networking. In addition to these presentations, the all 12 countries had opportunities to share experiences through various panel discussions and a case study session. Youth alumni engagement and leadership, which was the theme of the conference on its second day. On this day, we enjoyed presentations on youth leadership and volunteerism and their involvement in alumni association development from four different countries, such as Japan's Ms. Chi Hashimoto, representing the Japanese East-West Center alumni, Cambodia's Ms. Surin Sovan, representing the Association of Undergraduate State Alumni of Cambodia, China's Mr. Zhang Yaoping, representing the Chinese Humphrey Alumni Association, and Thailand's Mr. Yuta Kari Chalram Thai, representing the Youth Exchange and Study Program Thailand alumni. These presentations were followed by a youth alumni panel discussion where youth alumni from five different countries shared their views and experiences in engaging youth alumni. Region collaboration on global issues was the general theme of the conference and the last day's main activity. The highlight of the conference was a group project competition in order to enable continuation of collaborative ideas and networks that formed during the conference, the public affairs section of Ulaanbaatar held a project competition. Based on their interest, the conference participants were asked in advance to choose from three different topics and they formed four groups. The topics included global health and education, democracy and human rights, and youth alumni leadership and engagement. As a group, the participants were asked to come up with a project idea for regional collaboration and to present on the last day of the conference. Each day of the conference, the group was given a certain time to work on their project ideas. The winning project was selected by a panel of judges representing the State Alumni Office, Public Affairs Section in Ulaanbaatar, and alumni coordinators of U.S. Embassies in the East Asia Pacific region. The winning group was awarded $2,000 from Public Affairs Section in Ulaanbaatar to implement their project within one year from the conclusion of the conference. 
The alumni group surprised the organizers and the judges by their enthusiasm and brilliant ideas. After highly competitive presentations, a youth alumni team with members representing nine different countries won the competition to implement a regional collaborative project in their home country. During the conference, the participants formed networks not only through formal talks and presentations, but also through cultural activities. As part of the conference, the participants visited a Mongolian tradition gear camp and experienced spending a night in a Mongolian gear, which is a traditional nomadic dwelling. They also rode horses and camels and danced in an open field around the bonfire. On the first day of the conference, the participants enjoyed a working dinner hosted by the Public Affairs Section in Ulaanbaatar at the Mongolian State Ceremonial Center Ektenger, which is also a residential area for Mongolian President, Prime Minister and the Speaker of Parliament. During the dinner, the conference attendees enjoyed a keynote presentation about Mongolia, 2011, a year of grand anniversaries. Colonel Mukhachur Dorchukdar, an alumnus of U.S. Naval Postgraduate School and the Executive Director of Mongolian Association of Asia-Pacific Center for Security Studies, talked about four milestones in Mongolian history and the role of Mongolia as a cultural bridge between East and West. After Colonel Mukherjee's presentation, the participants enjoyed a concert by the Mongolian State Morin Hor Orchestra, which was a shining highlight of the conference and the orchestra amazed all the guests with the talent and professional skills of its artists. The performance gave representatives from 12 different nations who were present a tremendous taste of Mongolian culture at its finest. These experiences helped not only to promote Mongolian culture and tradition, but also to strengthen networking and friendship among the participants. This conference was a positive success that facilitated exchange of ideas and gave encouragement, enthusiasm, and opportunity to network and form friendship among alumni of 12 different countries from the East Asia and Pacific region.